Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Today I thought I would do a follow-up on my original Unique Vintage haul video I did a couple months ago, all the way back in July, I believe. Can't believe it's already October. But since I did a whole wish list part of that video, I thought I would update you guys on what I ended up getting. So after we go through the unique vintage clothing items, I thought I'd throw in some other Halloween clothing items I found throughout the season. These include Halloween pajamas, other Halloween clothing I got from different websites. So let's get into it and see what all I got. If you did not see, Unique Vintage did a couple different collaborations, one of them being with Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice has had a resurgence this year, and I am not complaining, that's for sure. The one thing I ended up getting from their Beetlejuice collab was this really, really cool pullover sweater. As you can see, it is the no feet Polaroid photo that Lydia Dietz took of them when they came into her room. I really like the color choices they picked with this. It almost looks like it's neon or glows in the dark. It doesn't actually glow in the dark, but I like how it looks like it does. Then on the back, by the nape of the neck, it just has the Beetlejuice logo, which I thought was a really nice touch to this sweater. I ended up getting a size small, and I do think it fits true to size. And the sweater is very soft on the inside, but it's that material that you know if you throw it in the dryer too many times, it's eventually not going to get soft anymore. But not really anything that Unique Vintage could have done about that. It's just that material. So for me, I have put this in the washer, but not the dryer. I am concerned that this will crack if it gets thrown in the dryer, so I'm just gonna play it safe and just never put this in the dryer. Next, I got this really, really cool witchy uh, sweater. Like, it's one of those like Christmas sweaters that you'd wear, but instead it's a Halloween sweater. I love the pattern on this. It has little witches flying on brooms and little pumpkin guys. I think this is the cutest sweater I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It is so, so, so soft. So I highly recommend if you can get your hands on it. I know it was on back order when I bought it, so hopefully it's still available. I got this in a size small or a US size four, and I think it fits perfectly on me. In terms of the neck, it isn't an off-the-shoulder sweater, but it does come pretty far on your collarbone, which I really like the scoop neck look of it. Now, the length on the sweater, I think, is perfect. It hits right about where your hip bones are, so I think it's perfect for tucking into pants if you want to tuck into pants or if you want to leave it out. It'll look flattering both ways. But they did make it thinner at the end, so that way it makes it easier and less bulky if you want to tuck it in. I love this guy. Moving right along, I got two different items from the brand Hell Bunny. I love the Hell Bunny brand, highly recommend. One thing I ended up getting for my birthday from my boyfriend, and it is this Hell Bunny t shirt that features two white jack o' lantern pumpkins right on the, you know. And on the back is just a simple black and white stripe pattern with white at the neck and then white on the sleeves. And I got this in a size small, UK 10. I do think Hell Bunny does run relatively large. So if you want this to be more skin tight, I would recommend sizing down. But if you want it to be a little bit looser on you, then go with your normal size. So that's why I went with a size small. I like these to be more loose on me. I don't want them to be skin tight. And the another thing to note about Hell Bunny items is they aren't very long. So it works if you don't really want to tuck these in. However, if you have a really long torso, that might become a problem. So just heads up there. I have a very short torso, so I don't really have a problem with their shirts, but that I throw that out there, that has been a complaint with some people in the past. Also to mention, which is a very, very good positive for me, the material on this shirt is very, very thick. It's not quite sweater material, um, but it is very, very thick, and you know it's going to withstand mini washes, mini dries. Um, it does have a bit of a stretch to it. The other Hell Bunny item I got is this really, really cute sweater style t-shirt. Uh, this material, unlike this other t-shirt that I showed you where it's definitely more of a cotton material, this is definitely more of a sweater material. It is very, very soft, but it is warm. So I don't know how much I would recommend this t-shirt. If you live somewhere like Florida, you may get a little hot, but if you live somewhere where it's cooler outside, then you'll definitely love this t-shirt. What really drew me into this one is the spiderweb heart. I think that is adorable. And then I really like how on the sleeves they have a couple of different stripes 
so so cute again i got this in a size small uk 10 then just like the other hell bunny t-shirt i showed you guys this one is the exact same cut, so it does run a little bit short if you have a long torso. Two more items left to show you guys that I ended up getting from Unique Vintage. One item happens to be a really, really cool sweater. If you don't know, I am, consider myself to be a gothy person, and it is very, very hard to find zip-up sweaters that I think fit my style. And I was so happy when I saw this on Unique Vintage's site. It has really, really cool spider webs right where the pockets are, and they have them on both sides. Then to top it all off, possibly literally, they have a really cool half spider web at the top where the hood pulls up over your head. I think it is so, so cute, and I just love how it's like very simple on the back, but on the front is where you have the spider webs. Oop, almost forgot to mention one other embroidery feature on this sweater. They ended up putting a little spider on the left side of the sweater, and I think that is so, so cute. So this is not a unique vintage item. This is made by the brand Jawbreaker, and I got this in a size small UK 8 US 4. I think it does fit a little oversized, so if you want more of a more fitted sweater look, I would recommend sizing down. I love it. I can't wait to wear this all fall, all winter long. It doesn't get too cold where I live, so this will definitely be a jacket I'll be sporting a lot. The very last item was on my wish list, actually. I think a few other things I showed you guys were on my wish list, but this was one that I definitely wanted on my wish list, and it is these really, really cute 50 style pants that have jack lanterns all over them. Uh, it's kind of funny because I actually got, you know, this sweater and these pants, which is exactly the outfit the model is wearing when they show this Hell Bunny sweater. So apparently I'm just going to match with that model, but I don't mind. Hopefully she doesn't mind either. In case you didn't know, these are a in-house unique vintage brand, and I got this in a size small, US size 4, and I would say they definitely fit true to size. There is a bit of a stretch to them, as you can see, so if you are a little bit off on the sizing, you should be okay, but uh, I would definitely recommend what the reviewers are saying. That really helped me pick out a size. I wasn't sure if I should get a two or a four, and based off the reviews I was reading online, a four seemed like a better fit for me, and it definitely was. This fits like a glove. I love it. I think it's very, very flattering, and I can't wait to wear this all October long. Then in order to get these pants on and off, as you can see, there is no button on the front. You actually get these on and off through a zip on the side. This may not be everyone's uh, cup of tea with putting on pants, but the zipper is pretty free moving. It doesn't get stuck on the fabric, which I know can definitely be a problem with sometimes with these side zips. So I think these are very well constructed. One thing I'm going to nitpick on Unique Vintage about with these pants is these are actually like screen printed on. It's not a pattern. I thought this was a fabric that had the pumpkin jack o lantern pattern on it. So I am worried over time if this stretches or if it gets put in the washer and dryer over time that the print will start to crack. But we'll see what happens over time. Those are all the items I got from Unique Vintage. Let me know down below what you ended up grabbing from Unique Vintage. One thing I am so sad about is I was going to get myself the bat cardigan that I showed in my wish list on my last video, and before I could get it, it already sold out. So I was very disappointed to see that it had gone so, so fast. Definitely feel like everything is just flying off the shelves, flying out of the websites. Like everyone seems to be on the Halloween game this year. So heads up, if there's something that you like, maybe don't wait for sales to happen. You might want to grab it pretty quickly. Another thing that I missed out on was the cake-worthy Mickey pumpkin dress. I digress. Let's move into the other items I found while online shopping or seeing in stores. I'm very excited to show you guys the rest of the items I found. The next item I actually bought from ModCloth. I feel like ModCloth and Unique Vintage are pretty similar in terms of items that they get. I would just say Unique Vintage sells more vintage style items, while ModCloth does do that, but also does more like cutesy, fun patterns. And this is what I got from ModCloth. This is from the brand Collective. I got this in a UK size eight, which is an extra small or a US size four. And it is this 
really really cute cropped cardigan i think cropped cardigans look really cute with dresses so i kind of was looking to style it with a dress this has so many adorable embroidery touches to it on the right side it has two bats then on the left side it doesn't have anything but on the left sleeve there is a black cat embroidered then on the back is probably the best part of this cardigan and it is a jack-o-lantern pail with candy and it says trick or treat it is so adorable this is a very nice knitted material it does have some stretch to it but not a whole lot of stretch i would say this does run small so i would recommend sizing up for me i feel like i'm in between sizes so this size does work however i think sizing up would have also been okay for me but this fits well enough so i decided to keep it definitely recommend if you're looking for a cute halloween crop sweater this season those are all of my going out outfits uh, let's move into the pajamas i bought as well as some really fun socks i found first i'll show you the pajamas i found at target since to my knowledge they are still available in store and online the first pair that i got are these adorable pumpkin jack-o-lantern pajamas they come in a set of pants and then a really cute button-up short sleeve top these pajamas are from the brand Night Night Monkey Monkey and last year I saw these on Jay the Liebers channel and I was obsessed with them but I thought I don't really need Halloween pajamas and as soon as October ended I just V8 palmed myself in the head and was like dude why didn't you grab those they were so so cute so this year I decided I wasn't gonna miss out if I like the pattern I'm gonna buy them and I think this jack o lantern pattern is adorable i got this in a size extra small my typical size is a u.s size 4 so an extra small fit me really really well and if you ever get the chance to touch these pajamas they are the softest things i've ever felt in my whole entire life also these have quite a bit of stretch as you can see so they are more forgiving on sizing my only qualm I have with Target on these is not anything about the pajamas. It is just the sizing. They only came in sizes extra small to extra large. There were no plus size sizing this year. I'm not really sure why. So, so sorry to my plus size peeps out there. I don't really know why Target did not get more sizing of these. The next pair of pajamas I got at Target are the exact same but in a different pattern. So again, they're from the brand Night Night Monkey Monkey. I got this in an extra small again. And instead of a jack-o-lantern pattern, they have a little skeleton guy all over. I really like how it's an orange piping with a black background and then the, the skeletons are in a variety of different colors like green and purple and orange and then obviously white. Again, they come in a top and bottom. So here are the tops, tops, <laughs> and you get your bottoms. So I cannot wait to wear these all year long. Let's be honest, I'm not the kind of person who would just wear these during Halloween. The very last item I had to show you guys for this Halloween season are from TJ Maxx. Hopefully you can find these items I'm showing you in your local TJ Maxx store. I know things are going really, really fast, but Hopefully you guys can time it just right to grab these as well. The first thing I have to show you guys is this adorable pair of pajama bottoms. Oh my gosh. Uh, I said that these pajamas were soft. These are also the softest thing I've ever felt in my whole entire life. They are from the brand Jaclyn Intimates. Uh, they, I think they call this like the cloud collection or something like that because they are as soft as the cloud and they aren't joking when they said that. One great thing about these pajamas is there's pockets and they're not little flimsy pockets. They're actually pretty deep pockets where you can actually fit items in your pockets. You can have little snacks in here. You can hold your cell phone. They are such good pockets. And then the thing I couldn't resist about these pajamas is the fact that there are spooky donuts all over the pant legs. This makes me want a spooky donut so, so bad. There is a Jack Skellington looking donut they have one with candy corns one with a little ghost uh, this one is a little three-eyed monster this pink one here my personal favorite is this little bat one as well as this orange glaze one with the bat 
sprinkles, I guess you could call them. I don't know. There are just so many cute designs on these pajamas. And for sizing, I got this in a size medium just because I wanted them to be a little bit oversized. The last thing I have to show you guys are just some fun socks that I found. I needed more pairs of socks and I ended up finding these at TJ Maxx. So they came in uh, a pack. So here's like one pack of them. Some of them were just more playing. So here like these have gray socks, but they did have some ones with fun Halloween elements to them. These are adorable spiders with spider webs and orange polka dots. Then this pair is a black cat looking up at a spider dangling down. Then on the bottom of your feet, you'll have little spider webs. And then this pair are black with a white spider web and orange spider on them. I bought more ankle socks, although these ones like come a little bit higher on your ankle. This one is also in another spider web pattern, but there are multiple spiders and there's ones that are orange and green. These ones are just simple polka dots. Then these are more Halloween fun in your face. Uh, they're orange with skull and crossbones and spider pattern all over them. So those are the socks I got from TJ Maxx. They're a really good deal. I think they were like $4.99 for a pack of five socks so can't be that price and now i have more fun halloween socks to wear every day of the year those are the clothing items i found this halloween season hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i ended up getting from unique vintage as well i also hope you enjoyed seeing some other fun halloween pieces i got as well what did you guys end up getting from unique vintage did you get anything did this video help you figure out what you actually want to get off of unique vintage let me know down below. Hope you guys are having an awesome spooky season. It is the time of the year for us spooky ghouls. I feel like when October hits it is a bit bittersweet because it's like the best time of the year in my opinion but also that means October has to end at some point. So I'm going to relish every day of October while I can before it's over. Again thank you so much for watching and hope you're having an awesome yet spooky week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!